Hello everyone and welcome to Hoblicious Diaries. In this project, we are going to make uh, this pattern using chunky chenille yarn. I, I will be using this chunky chenille soft yarn. It is very soft. So let's begin now. I will take the tail, one corner and make a knot tight enough and stiff enough so that my stitches do not slip out of it now i will loop it over and i'll show you once again turn it over now using my two fingers thumb and index finger i will pull out the loop it's the chain so this is my first chain now i will continue making chains using my two fingers so that each and every chain is of equal size now talking about the number of chains that uh, we have to take in this project is uh, i'm making a cushion cover uh, only the front part I will be making with this so I will be I will chain 18 but you have to take according to your project whatever you are making and just make sure that you take two four six like this even number of chains base should be even now I'm done with my 18 chains and this is the first layer I'm going to start this is my first loop okay now i'll be moving to the second chain and pull the yarn out from the hole that we get from the chains from the base chain whatever we have made you will see holes in there will be holes inside that inside the chain so from that hole you have to pull out the yarn nicely this is the base one so you will have it will be a little bit tricky but it's okay it's not so difficult once you get a hack of it how to pull the yarn out then it's very easy simple and even interesting it's a nice design used for blankets and even cushions and you can make a cap in the next tutorial I'll show you how to make a cap out of the same design it's very nice i liked it uh, usually people make this uh, design i have seen the same design but in that case you have to use a loop yarn i have seen tutorials making this using loop yarn but uh, since at my place i ran out of it so i decided to try using this and it was really nice nice experience there makes no difference in the pattern or in the size or anything else whatever you are comfortable with whatever you get you can do it with that just it is in this you have to manage the size of the loop i'm done with my first layer now with the second one here starts the design part okay so first two loops i will take and i will just make a cross one over the other the first one over the second one and hold it with my finger should i show you once again okay so the first one over the second one that's it push it under and pull it out then push it under and pull it out this is how it is supposed to be this is my first stitch this to third and the fourth one this two will make one stitch okay this again one over the other and pull out the yarn nicely
this is how you are supposed to do throughout the project you have to continue with the same thing oops i left one okay i'll take it away make sure you don't leave any loop okay otherwise it will come out it will look a little little bit bulky you can adjust it afterwards too but it's better that way Now I'll be taking again. We'll continue this. I want to show you the corners. Corners are a little bit tricky. Tricky means you have to take care about the stitches where you have taken because in this same type you will get two three designs. So not to overlap one with the other offers. The line is coming different, and the second layer is coming different. So, to overcome that, it's better that we take the proper stitches. Okay, now I'm done with it. My second layer is done. Now we'll be beginning with the third one. Wait, I'll now make sure all the stitches are there and equal side of loop so that. I don't need to reopen it okay now for the third one I will leave my first loop and the second and the third I will cross it over pull out the yarn then from the third one again pull out the yarn from the next two cross it again pull out the yarn Try not to leave a gap between the stitches, okay? When you are pulling it out, just take a little bit attention that it should not go too far off. You can manage it later also. It doesn't usually happen, but sometimes if we do not consider the previous stitch, that time maybe it will be a little bit looser. So that will make a hole in your project. So I'll complete this layer. Next two, I will take cross it over and so I am making my cushion cover. It is square in shape. So I'll be having 15 inches by 15 inches size. I usually do not prefer taking the number of chains because depending on your size of fingers maybe or your pulling intensity the uh, size of chain usually varies what I have noticed. So it's better that you take the size in using a measuring tape it's better. I'll show you about the corners once again okay because if you take one loop one stitch over the other then uh, what will happen is the pattern will change because see one should go down and one should come up this corner is about to start so I'll complete this and come to the corner and show you how to do it once again so much light okay now I am my last now see if I take the last two loops okay I know it's too big I have to make it smaller okay now see if I have already taken stitches from the last two loops if I again try to make it from the last two loops see the same stitch is coming up okay so what I will do is leave my first one and take from the two next one second and third one this is my second this is my third like this only you have to go over till I reach my size I think so this is the last layer I have to count 
how much inches it is i will do up to uh, 14 and a half so that while fixing the last layer it should come around 15 inches which is my cushion required size For the last one, I will take the last loop and the second one, I will pull it out from that again from the second one to the third one. This is my third loop. So in the third loop, I will insert my fourth one and pull it out. Then in the fourth one, I will insert my next one and pull it out. Same thing. In the last layer, you have to do like this only. From the first one push the next one and pull it out push the next one inside insert it inside and then pull it down like this you will get a chain on the upside also it looks beautiful making the corners clean Now I am done with my last line too. Now with the last loop, what I will do is cut the yarn, cut it and tie a knot at the end. Now I will push it through the last loop and pull it. So it becomes tight and it's done. I will hide this tail inside. Wait, it's not going. Oh, I'm wrong. It's coming out bulky. I have to pull it out more nicely. Inside the second or the third stitch, you can push it inside. It will hide. It is not visible. Okay, now with the pattern is done. Nice and beautiful. See, this is the close-up image of it. Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And give me your comments too. Bye-bye.